Hello. This is perfect for me to use for the fall and winter. They have a new arrival and I didn't know. Oh, yes. I want to try it so bad. Pop it in your bag, okay? I'm not going to steal that. Don't call the police on me. I'm putting it back, okay? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister, Union in the house today, and I am here at Olivia Gangnam flagship store, and I'm so excited to do another fun skincare shopping video with you guys. Today, I thought the topic that we will talk about will be for fall skincare because it is getting more cold, it's getting more dry. I can tell that my skin is longing for more oil and more um, nourishing effect. And another thing that I wanted to talk about today is body care as well. I think our skin is the biggest organ in our body. Um, we do talk about skincare a lot on my channel, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about body care. So let's get this party started. Get in unicorns. We're going shopping. All right, guys. So first things first, we are on the second floor. This is usually where they have all the skincare products. First floor is the makeup section. And then when we go up, you will see more of a uh, food section and also um, hair section. Now, right off the bat, I have to stop here. This is the first thing that you see when you step into the second floor. Oh my goodness, I love you Suyeon, how are you? I really enjoyed your drama recently. Um, not recently, it's been a while, but that was so good. That was really fun, thank you. What was it? The Psycho Jiman Kinchana. Loved it. You were so sweet. You're so cute. You're always cute. Such a good actor. Now, this is the Cozarx Propolis Light Ample, you guys. The reason why I stopped here immediately is because I heard the news that, oh my gosh, Amore Pacific bought a portion of uh, Cozarx. And oh wow, when I heard that news, I was like, wow, this is crazy. And I feel like, oh my gosh, you know, when um, I heard about 3CE, like 3 Concepts Eyes, being bought by L'Oreal. It was crazy too. But that's a really interesting collaboration. So I'm really excited to see how Cozarx is gonna flow and grow. Um, I remember I went to their uh, office back in the days, like in Pangyo when I was interviewing them for Wish Trend TV. And it's just amazing. You never know how a brand is going to flourish. So this is definitely a good uh, news that I wanted to share with everyone. I will leave the article in the description below and the post that I saw this good news in. And of course, uh, this product is the Propolis Light Ample. And if you are looking for something that is a little bit more viscous, and Propolis, of course, is so nourishing. And you might think that it will be like sticky and um, too rich, but it's not. This ample is actually kind of light. I feel like it would suit fall perfectly, even if you have dry skin types. I think if you have uh, extremely dry skin, you wouldn't be able to use this for the winter time. You might need a little bit of an, like more of a one or two drops of an oil to finish off your routine. But that was an interesting news that I wanted to share. And another thing here, this is the first kind of uh, section that you will see when you walk up into the second floor. Look who Goodall is doing a collaboration with. Workers are here, so I don't want to do it too loud. <laughs> but you guys sing it with me, okay? <laughs> You know what it is, right? Okay, well, because there's a lot of workers working, I didn't want to, you know, bother them. But yes, you guys, oh, they are doing a collaboration with the Brave Girls. Wow. I mean, if you hear about their history, how it took them so long for them to become really popular, it's just really amazing and I really am so happy for them. But wow, they did a collaboration with Gura. And this youthful line is something that's pretty new to the game, you guys. I know that Gura is really well known, you guys. We love the green tangerine vitamin C dark spot serum. This is one of the best sellers. It's been around for a really long time. Um, I want to highly recommend it for extremely sensitive skin types or if your skin is easily irritated by vitamin C or other ingredients that's a little bit stronger but you really want to use a very gentle kind of serum that you can use for both day and night routine and that it will help with brightening effect this is a really good one this is really popular amongst teens as well so light almost like a kind of gel type of serum so I think uh, for my unicorns that's actually um, 
living in a country that's super hot and humid as well, this will be really popular. But it's not only light either. There is that a bit, uh, that 5%, 4% of uh, oil content so you can feel it but it does feel really light the texture is really nice I think I would be able to use it for up to fall routine and then I wanted to show you guys this one. Oh, hello the youthful firming anthem it's the apricot collagen Ooh, and then now I guess they have two different products here like this let's try this one so I actually got a DM when I first introduced this on, on my stories uh, my one of my subscriber asked me would this suit her skin she's in her 40s like because it says youthful I think sometimes uh, in your 20s in your 30s in your 40s in your 50s in your 60s the anti-aging products that we would reach out for may be a little bit different maybe in your teens up to your 20s it can be kind of similar maybe in your 20s and 30s it can be kind of similar but I think because I right now I'm 36 uh, and I'm you know, looking at 37 very soon, right around the corner. I think it is true that uh, when you get up to this age, then you kind of start looking for different products that can actually kind of go to that extra mile because your wrinkles are more there. And skin elasticity is definitely one of the factors that you look for when you search for something in a skincare product. And you know, we can't ignore the procedures too. So I do want to do more videos on that because after you reach up to certain age I think procedures thinking about it is a wise decision too and having knowledge of really different good treatments for your skin that can be helpful for skin elasticity is amazing so I will get into that a little bit you know later on in my other videos but let's check out this texture when you first see the product itself it does look like it's going to be a very light texture yes mmm the the color was like a milky kind of emulsion-y color. <gasps> this is lighter. Mmm, it's really light. Actually, this one feels lighter than this one. Because this one had a little bit of a kind of sticky finish to it. But this one is just kind of al almost like an emulsion-y kind of texture. And the, the finish itself is not sticky at all. So it does have collagen in here and it does have the antioxidants from um, it seems like I apricot. So yeah, this is something I think that will target more of uh, anti-aging kind of product for preventing wrinkles. So in your 20s, or maybe you can up to, even use it up to maybe mid 30s and things like that. Mm. The texture does seem a little bit light for me personally. Let's try this one. Ooh, oh, okay. <gasps> oh, really? I thought it would be much lighter, but oh, it's pretty good. This is perfect to use for me right now. I have combination skin. I have oily T-zone and really dry U-zone. I would be able to use this one. Ooh, ooh, it's really nice. It does have a little bit of that chewy kind of feel to it, and it does stick onto your skin, and you can feel a bit of the oil content. It's not a light gel type of cream. Mmm, interesting. And speaking of you guys, um, wrinkle care and things like that, this is actually uh, one of the most popular eye creams in Korea these days. But it's not a Korean product, it's Yusedin. Uh, you know it's, it's a German cosmetic brand, it's a very popular brand. And you know those brands that's popular in your country? Or it's not popular in your country, but it's like you know, it's really popular in other countries or it's like much more expensive in other country but it'll be much cheaper in your country and things like that so it's kind of, yeah, I think a lot of people um, in Europe you can get it for a little bit cheaper but in Korea it is a bit expensive, Yusedin but this has been really popular, this product right here the this is the Hyaluron Eye Cream and it has SPF uh, 15 so I guess oh I did not know that they had SPF 15 I think they have the one without the SPF but you can use it during the daytime definitely uh, I mean at nighttime it has SPF so you wouldn't be able to use it right or you wouldn't want to kind of use it and it's interesting because in Korea a lot of these devices are becoming popular I know in the states like gua sha everybody has a gua sha right a lot of people do own these kind of beauty tools that at home but uh, in Korea it is pretty new but it's becoming really popular a lot of Korean influencers that actually own like um, 
their own skincare brand like Tiru Tiru or Imbuli and things like that. They're all coming out with different kinds of gua sha's. And I feel like it does make sense because especially when something becomes popular, probably the like at manufacturing places, they're all like making the same product. So you see kind of products or tools becoming popular at the same time, you know? So you start seeing it in different brands and things like that. But definitely uh, beauty tools is becoming more common and more popular. Uh, and there's more needs for it in Korea. Oh, and I really wanted to talk about this one, you guys. This is so interesting. So, oh my gosh, they are actually promoting it like crazy. I see it in so many different platforms. This is Kahi Soul. And you know, really fun fact is, you know the um, the singer and influencer now, the Kahi from After School. I thought she made it <laughs> because the name is Kahi. So in the, in the beginning, I like just assumed that she made it, but it, it's not from Kahi. But still, this brand is really taking over. And um, I read that the vitamin C one is really good. I think the pink one is oh this one. The, this one is really popular. It has the. It says that it's like the wrinkle bounce multi balm uh, with jeju origin oil mm -hmm. so you have this right here and then i saw actually an article this morning about this i think it was a sponsored um content but still it said that this one is the vitamin c um balm and it's called x teen and it has 26 percent of pure vitamin c in here and it helps with blemishes and dark spots and sunspots and it's just really easily applied, right? I really want to try it but thinking about it, it's a balm type so maybe I won't use it due to COVID, you know, just in case but... Oh, and another one is that they had a sunscreen. I think it was this one. Yes, Aqua Balm but it was SPF 50, wasn't it? Yes, it's SPF 50 plus and the PA++++, four pluses, the maximum you can get in Korea. And it also had wrinkle care and um, brightening care and things like that. So this was interesting. I feel like this one will have a more kind of watery texture. Ooh, I want to try it so bad. I It looks like it might have a little bit of a white cast, but not sure. But this is something I definitely do want to try. I want to try every one of these. What are these? What, what, what's the difference? This is eye balm. Okay, so you have a separate uh, purple one for eyes. And then what is this? Highlighter. Oh, and it helps with wrinkle care and brightening care. Oh, so they do have a lot of different products for different functions. Oh, this is a kiss teen balm. So I guess it's a lip balm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think this one was the original one when it first came out. So I'm gonna, I have this one. I got it from Yes Doll. Uh, so I'm gonna try this one. But yes, this is a brand and products that I definitely do want to try. I feel like it will be so easy to reapply and it's so small. So you can just kind of like pop it in your bag. Okay, I'm not gonna steal that. Don't call the police on me. I'm putting it back, okay? <laughs> you guys. Oh my goodness, I feel, I don't know how to feel right now. I don't know if I'm so excited to see a new arrival from the brand, or I don't know if I feel kind of, kind of like offended that they have a new arrival and I didn't know. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I guess B Plain is out with the Chamomile Intense Moisturizing Cream. <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And it's in a tube type. Thank you. I mean, um, the lotion, right? They have the lotion from the Chamomile line and it's really popular. But wow, they have a moisturizing cream now. I bet this texture is much thicker than the lotion maybe, huh? Oh, oh yeah, this one. The, the, they have the Chamomile uh, toner. They have the intense... Oh my gosh, moisturizing cream. No way, I'm excited. Oh, let's go look for their lotion. I want to show you the difference between the textures. I know they have Be Plain here. Ah, they don't have the lotion though, huh? But yeah, the lotion is actually a little bit watery, like an emulsion-y kind of um, feel to it. I feel like if you have oily skin, you can actually use it as your cream moisturizing stuff. But for me, um, I think I can use it in the summertime, but for fall or winter, I did want something a little bit heavier, you know? Oh, let's, let me put you down somewhere. Hold on, where do I put you down? 
Oh my gosh, I feel so happy here. Every time I come here, I mean, usually I have to wake up at like 6.30, take a shower, you know, and I usually like do my eye makeup only in the cab and stuff like that when I come here, but I get so happy when I come. I'm someone that I need, I need to be fueled in the morning. I need some food and like tea in the morning, but coming here, I have to actually come before the store opens and um, before customers come in, so I'm always like, uh, not fed, but still I get such good energy and I, I'm so thankful to all of you for letting me come and film So thank you all of you once again and letting me come like every month or every three weeks to film and thank you guys for loving this series because seriously um like I know that a lot of you guys really love it. I can feel the excitement when you guys see that I'm doing a video for, you know, like the Olive Young shopping video. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Okay, so let's check out this texture. The emulsion, -y, uh, the emulsion is much more lighter. So I'm thinking it's the intense moisturizing cream. So I think it will be thicker. <gasps> oh, it is just the way that it comes out. Oh, and it has this beautiful light yellow color to it i love that oh oh yes oh oh okay oh i would expect something that's a little bit lighter because the emulsion was so light but i can see that they wanted to probably make a huge difference between the two products so you know for dry skin types or uh, for those that wanted a little bit more of the nourishing effect <gasps> this is amazing this is perfect for me to use for the fall and winter <gasps> oh it feels so nice actually <sighs> okay i can't smell anything i don't think it has a scent but oh it feels so nice oh yes it's more of like a balm type almost when you squeeze it out like the sturdiness of it but when you put it in, I like the fact that it's not sticky. It's not uncomfortable, but your skin feels like, bam, moisturized and nourished. <gasps> I love this. I would love to use this as a body cream too. Really nice finish. It's 60 milliliters. Mm. Oh, oh, be plain. I think this is going to become one of my favorite products from the brand. Oh, nice. How much is this? Oh, right now it's not with the sale. I hope that they do have it on the global site soon. I know that they don't have it on the global site yet. Maybe, hopefully by the time this video goes up, it may be. If it is, I'll link it in the description below. Oh yes, it's a new one. And what's the price? This is a toner. Cream is 28,000 won without a discount. So if they do have a discount, I think you can get it for around maybe $20 or so, but 28,000 won for now without the discount. All right, you guys, I am at my favorite section of them all. I'm at the sheet mask section. I know some of you guys get kind of sick of me when they talk about the sheet mask because I'm kind of... <laughs> I'm someone that if I really like something, I use it over and over again. So, and I do remind you guys that I have skin with sensitivity. So sometimes for me to try new products, it's an oxymoron kind of thing because my job is like, I have to try new products, but my skin is really not happy when I try too many products at once. So that's actually one of the principles I do have that I try to uh, use one product for at least one month, four weeks, three weeks, at least three weeks. Um, or a little bit more and then I try another product together and things like that but I think sheet masks even though it's actually a serum or an ample or an essence which should be thought of as a separate product I think with sheet masks I think we do slap on like different products every day and things like that and sometimes that's not really good to be able to see the full effect, effect of a new sheet mask um, and your skin might not like it you switching up on new products like that but i do have some do's and don'ts uh, about sheet masks so i will link those videos in the description below it'll be very helpful like questions that you might have of can i use a sheet mask every single day or can i use every different sheet mask that i haven't used every single day and things like that so please do check it out i do see some new products so one of the new products from Abib is actually this one. This is the Mild um, Acidic Peach Sheet Mask Jericho Rose Fit. Uh, in Korean, this is called Puarcho. I know that you might be a little bit uh, new to this ingredient uh, and I don't think you see it too much these days yet but I think uh, you can see this ingredient a little bit more now but this is a new product uh, with Abib you know that they're very popular for these right especially the 
my favorite is Abade Casa side and I also love the heart leaf. They have really, really thin sheet masks. The material is so thin, it feels like your second skin. So they're very popular for these. Uh, however, these are these ones are more cushiony. So I feel like um, the moisture itself, it does feel like it lasts for a longer time. Like these, I have to take off after 15 minutes, but these, I think I can take it off after like 25 minutes. But it may depend on each individual. But for me, I definitely, I feel like these are a little bit thicker so but yes this is the new arrival I've actually used three of these and it felt super soothing and calming and um, the consistency as you can see is kind of you can see that it's not clear it has like a kind of a transparent half transparent kind of uh, texture to it you can tell the oh, oh my gosh I guess I dropped it. I think I have to take it home. No, I have to. Okay, I have to stop that. <laughs> Me wanting to slap everything in my bag. I have to stop that. But yes, I think the other ones uh, were always uh, clear like this. But this one had a little bit of a milky texture. And this one felt really nice, actually. It's not sticky. It's not uncomfortable. But it just feels really nourishing. And the hydration lasted a very long time. And I think it was amazing for a calming effect, too. So this is something that I do want to recommend you guys. Another new product. This isn't new, but they changed the packaging. This is something that I really like. But I don't know if it's a different product. No, I think it's the same product. But... Maybe they change the packaging or is it a different one? You know, I saw it. Ah, no, I think it is the same thing, no? But maybe they just change the packaging. They actually used to have a different packaging. And I am not 200% sure if this is a... Ah, it is, it is. It, this was the packaging before, but I think now they have a new packaging. Maybe it's an upgraded one. Not 100% sure if the packaging just changed, but the, I thought that was really interesting. Um, I love this one, especially to calm my skin and my breakouts. This is an amazing for like SOS emergency care, especially if you are like starting to break out. Um, it does have ethanol um, from the one before. I don't know about the new formula. But yeah, it does have a lot of, oh, I think it changed. Uh, it does have alcohol. So uh, maybe it's similar because the other one also had alcohol like as like in the first or second line. So you do have to check the ingredient list, uh, but it does have a lot of great benefits for calming acne. But I wanted to let you guys know that, ooh, they changed the packaging. Now, another sheet mask that I wanted to mention today is actually this one. This is the Real Barrier Extreme Cream Mask, and it does have a more of an emulsion-y texture. It's a cream mask in here. So what a cream mask is, just really simple. All of the other sheet masks, they usually have really kind of watery kind of, you know, serums or ampoules or essences. But this one has a, like, kind of watered down cream kind of feel. So like a uh, emulsion-y kind of lotion kind of uh, uh, contents inside but this one is so amazing seriously real barrier they have a lot of good products if you have skin with sensitivity um, it's amazing to calm skin and your skin does become definitely more dry during the fall so this will be a perfect time for you to add in something maybe one to two times a week this one can be used actually every single day but you can add this in and I felt like my skin became stronger and it became uh, just better and healthier so I want to highly recommend if you're feeling like your skin barrier is damaged at the moment and you have redness and your skin may uh, sting a little bit because of the irritatedness or whatever this is such a good product to add in highly want to recommend this one and another product that i see is the dr mask aqua and you guys know how much i love rovectin products and their treatment lotion is definitely something that a lot of people do go back to when you are looking for a more like a uh, viscous texture it's so moisturizing um this is one of their best-selling products uh their sheet mask also has all of this goodness in it 
uh, the formulation is very similar except for one or two ingredients. So you have the whole, not the whole bottle, but you have a lot of the Rovectin treatment lotion in this sheet mask. So this is something that I want to highly recommend. Your skin just looks so plumped afterwards and calmed. And you can tell that the moisturizing effect just lasts for such a long time. And this one also is really good for the fall and winter. For me personally, I felt like the oiliness of it was just kind of, ooh, I wasn't really used to that from a sheet mask but this is called the oil sheet mask so you will here have four milliliters of the um yuja extract oil and then you have the sheet too so if you are someone that um has concerns of extremely uh dry skin this will be a great mask for you and I get this asked a lot of um, sunscreen recommendations, you guys. And as I mentioned before, um, the ones that I really like are this. I'm almost done with this. This is so good and it's with such a good price. It's um, Round Lap. Uh, and um, as you know, this is one of the few sunscreens that the SPF level wasn't actually what it claimed to be before. But as soon as the brand found out, they discontinued it, they apologized, and they made a new product with SPF 50. The plus PA plus 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 plus. It has such a light and fresh texture. Really, really nice just to use for every single day. I used it this morning as well. Just really easy. My hands just keep on going to this one. And the B plain one as well, the SPF level was not what it claimed to be. So once again, this is one of the few brands that actually switched and they made it um, SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. So these, this one too, this one is really nice. Um, this one has a bit of a white cast. So for me, I prefer this one. And another one that I wanted to show you that's very interesting is this one. Okay, so this is the Sun Essence from Abib. It's the Heartleaf Sun Essence. And I actually tried this a lot in my um, Jeju trip. Uh, in my honeymoon, I went to Jeju for a whole month. And I honestly, I did not wear makeup. I think I only wore makeup or got dressed up like one or two times. I was always, like I was just had such a great healing trip there with no makeup, you know, just with my sweats. And it was just lovely for me to kind of recharge. And this one, it was so interesting. The texture, you're gonna be like, what? It looks like any <gasps> ample or a serum. And then it soaks in like this. So when you first apply, you're like, whoa, this is an interesting texture. It feels a, almost a little bit oily. And then it does have a bit of white cast, but everything soaks in well. <gasps> Cha cha cha! Do you see the difference? Everything soaks in so well and the stickiness and everything goes away. So it becomes fully soaked in. And I feel like it does have a little bit of like a sticky texture afterwards, but it's not an uncomfortable finish. And it was just really interesting. So I wore this um, often and they also have a stick type. So it was just really easy for me to use and my hands just kept on reaching for this one. And then because it does have a little bit of tone up or the white cast, I think it helped to kind of cover my um, blemishes and even out my uneven skin tone. So if you don't mind a little bit of white cast, I think this one's really nice too, especially for the fall and winter because you don't wanna use anything that's too drying. That it does not feel drying at all. So that was an interesting one. All right guys, so two more products before we move on to our body care because I only have 10 minutes now. Wow, what is this? It's a melasma white patch. So it's for your sunspots, like your blemishes, but it's a patch care. Ooh, this is so interesting. And Tammy is the model. <gasps> oh boy, this is the first time seeing this patch. There's four patches. I think maybe it covers like your butterfly zone. I think this may be your nose area and then butterfly, butterfly. <gasps> wow, this is interesting. It's 18,200 won. So it's about five bucks per, not even five dollars, four, three dollars and fifty cents per maybe, because there's four in it, uh, each patch. But that's kind of interesting. Oh, oh my gosh, I want to try this. Oh, there's now a lot of different patches, not just for, you know, like, 
blackheads and things like that, but a lot of different ones for brightening care, for your blemish care. And another product that I saw was, this was interesting. I don't think this is a Korean brand. It's called Sweden Egg Pack. Jisang Pibuyong. This caught my eyes. It was like so, for oily skin types. And um, it's for pore care. What is this? Ah, it's a soap. It's a soap for extremely oily skin types, I think. And it does have egg white as the main ingredient. Oh, you guys, have you guys actually tried this one before? It's from Sweden. Let me know. Very interesting. All right, you guys, so we're on the third floor now. You'll see that they have more of like different things for lifestyle. They also have Dun, 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 body care! I always get stuck at the food care actually but I'm here today at the body care. These are some of the brands that's actually popular in Korea. It's actually like brands that's not Korean. The body shop, wow they have the body shop in, in Olive Young now? <laughs> yeah because I mean the body shop was a brand that I like grew up with you know. Every time like in elementary school and in junior high, like living in the States, I would like go to the body shop, buy gifts for my friends and things like that. So it does like have a, it does bring up like memories and stuff, but I don't think, ah, I've actually really like the white musk perfume that they have. I've used this multiple times. This one, the white musk. This smells really nice if you like musky kind of scents. But these days I don't really like or I don't really use a lot of the products from here. Oh, but ooh, Moringa body milk. Ooh, that, that sounds delicious. But anyways, yeah, they do have body, body shop here in, in Olive Young. That's amazing. They do, of course, have offline separate shops, but I did not know that they're in Olive Young now. And then you have, oh, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's called uh, Belleda, I think Belleda. Is this right? Belleda? I would think that it's pronounced with W, but it's called Belleda, I think. And it says that it's the number one natural brand uh, with 100, 100 years of history. Swiss brand. Ooh, is this popular? My unicorns in Swiss? Let me know, you guys. Ooh, interesting. <gasps> Oh, and they have a lot of different oils here that I really want to come back to. But since I only have five minutes left, you guys, I'm going to move to the products that I wanted to mention today. All right, guys. So here I wanted to talk about Aromatica. I know that they're aloe gels. Um, I think I saw a video from Cassandra Bingston. I, I love her so much. I love her videos. They're so informative and she's so fun. Uh, I will link actually the video that I saw in the description below. But this isn't the one she talked about, but she was talking about the aloe gel actually. Aromatica has really good products, especially um, the only, I haven't tried everything, but the ones that I've tried, I love their aloe gel. And this is the tea tree calming gel as well. And it says that it's uh, with organic tea tree for irritated body. So this is something that I do really want to try because I don't like applying something that's too thick for my body until like it gets super dry, like the winter, right? And my skin, skin becomes a little bit cracky and stuff like that. But I love actually applying gel type of uh, products on body as well. So this is something I feel like uh, because it does contain tea tree, it will help with the calming effect. And if you have concerns of body breakouts as well, uh, it does have um, aloe vera extract. So it'll be amazing for calming, 11%. Uh, so this one. Um, and actually I'm going to Aromatica today, the offline shop with Sue. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna be able to learn a lot today because I've only tried um, three of their products. So I'm so excited to be able to try uh, their face uh, skincare products and also their hair care products. So excited to go shopping there. So you'll be probably able to see that video um, very soon. So stay tuned in. Another one that I wanted to uh, actually purchase is this one. Illyune's cream, stretch mark cream. And uh, it says that four weeks, in within four weeks, that it helped with the red um, 
uh, stretch marks. The reason is because once the stretch marks becomes white, you it's really hard to remove it or make it go away just with um, without like uh, treatments from the dermatologist. With just body products or lotions, it's really really difficult to actually almost impossible kind of to for it to go away when it becomes white so when actually the stretch marks are red it's important to kind of take care of it right ahead or even before you get stretch marks it's really important to kind of prevent them these days i've been getting really interested in stretch mark creams because no i am not pregnant you guys <laughs> i think someone saw the video of me like in the swimming suit and that i did gain weight because i've been eating a lot and stuff but i'm not pregnant if i'm pregnant you'll be the second one to know i'll tell derek or maybe i'll tell you guys first and then we'll reveal it to derek and film it you know <laughs> but trust me you guys will be the first one to know i just gained a little bit of weight but i'm working out i'm feeling good so no worries guys uh, but um because i am preparing uh to become pregnant i want to become pregnant i want to have a baby so uh, i am preparing and these days i know that that's one of the habits that i need to change i get so lazy to apply body products but i do have to apply especially during the fall and winter i can tell that my skin is getting so cracky and things like that so i need to apply more good body products another one that i do want to recommend is illy yoon they have really good prices and i love i love this line that they do have this is a yuja line and they have a body lotion here and they have a body wash i first bought their wa body wash it smells so delicious if you like any type of citrusy kind of scent that's very subtle not strong this is such a good one to uh use and this is a i think scrub oh they have a scrub wash? I've only tried their... Oh! <gasps> I've only tried their body washes without the scrub. <gasps> Ooh, this is a fresh moisture scrub wash. Oh, and I don't mind using a physical scrub, especially for my body, because sometimes, you know, that uh, my body needs that extra kind of exfoliation effect. So, um, because our dead skin cells are much thicker for our body, and especially when I'm doing it like on the heels of my, you know, like uh, feet or um, when I'm doing it in the crusty areas, like, like the elbows and things like that, I think I like using kind of like a little bit, not rough, I don't want to say rough because I like using sugar ones better because they do melt down so I can kind of control how it feels on my skin. So actually I love sugar scrubs but this one uh, I think it has walnut kind of scrubs but 껍질, 호두 껍질 kind of you know scrub, physical scrub. Uh, but those sometimes can be so irritating for the face. I actually don't use that on my face you guys but anyways on my body it can feel nice. I want to try that. Ooh, I did not know. Illy Yoon. Mmm. And also they have this one. This one's also amazing, you guys. This line is um, the line for really high concentration of pentanol in here. So if you want uh, a really good moisturizing body cream that the price point is really affordable This is a good one to add into your routine like this one right here, right? This is a different one This is the repair cream and this is the lotion right now. It is at 7,901 you guys so it's with a really good discount and this one also you guys it's, This is the ceramide auto concentrate cream and they have bubble wash and shampoo. I heard this one is so good I remember I remember my friend said that she uses this one uh, for her baby so I actually wanted to try this one this is uh, a body wash a bubble wash and the shampoo so and it says that uh, it's low irritation and children can use it oh and the music is on all right you guys the music came on so I do have to come back but I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget that with purchase over this much, you get free global shipping. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye unicorns! Oh, I don't want to go. Well, my body is like mu moving to the music, but I don't want to go. Bye!